The holidays are happening at the Carnegie Museum of Art and many families make an annual pilgrimage to see the holiday trees and the 250 year old Italian nativity called Prosepio. Christine Sorensen takes us on a tour with the museum's curator of decorative arts and design. All right, Rachel, we're here in the room with the trees. What's the theme this year? So the theme this year is bedazzled. So we have all these wonderful interpretations of the theme from the beautiful constellations of the winter sky to this tree, um, Will You Marry Me? If anybody's looking for a great place to propose this year, um, this might be a good spot. Although bring your own ring, although there <laughs> is one on top as the tree topper. And then here we have diamonds in the wild, these wonderful little uh, wild animals hiding in the snowy boughs, chandeliers, beautiful glass snowflakes. Uh, it just feels like a winter wonderland. And then this has a big 60 at the top. What's that for? It does. And that is because it's the 60th anniversary of our Carnegie trees. So for 60 years, the Women's Committee of the Museum of Art has been putting on these incredible trees. And they're for the museum and our visitors and really for the city of Pittsburgh. So Rachel, who makes all these ornaments? The Women's Committee makes these ornaments by hand. And I'll tell you, they're usually at work in July. Um, really, it's Christmas in July, and um, I just love seeing the creativity. I think these flowers are so beautiful. They're made of paper, and then they have this beautiful glitter around them. Um, those really took my breath away. Okay, so I see the Persepio's not here. Let's go find it. All right. All right, so Rachel, we're in a different part of the museum. Explain where we are and what we have here. Yes, absolutely, Christine. So we are in the Scaife Galleries, which is the museum's home for our paintings and sculpture, much of the art collection. And we are looking at the Neapolitan Persepio. For people who've never seen it before, what is it? Yeah, so the Neapolitan Persepio is our 18th century Neapolitan nativity scene. So that word, Prosepio, actually comes from a Latin word, Prosepium, um, which means manger. But this is really an elaborate multimedia art form that the residents of Naples and Sicily more than 250 years ago developed to celebrate um, this biblical story that was so central to their experience as a predominantly Catholic culture. So on the left-hand side, we see the Holy Family, and they're under a Roman ruin. Um, and not only is this part of the Neapolitan landscape a familiar sight to have Roman ruins in southern Italy, um, but it also symbolizes the way that uh, Rome fell, and this was the end of a pagan order and the coming of Christianity. So that's true throughout this object. It's really a combination of details of everyday life in Naples 300 years ago um, and biblical, um, biblical stories and symbols. So this is one of the beautiful things about this art form is it really brings together the religious and the secular world. And as we look around this room, one of the things that's so special about having it here is we see other religious paintings. So in fact, this is flanked by two beautiful paintings by um, Burne Jones, the one on the right here being another artistic interpretation of the nativity. Such a beautiful exhibit. And every Saturday afternoon through December 18th, the museum has live concerts among the trees. And if you want to learn more about the Persepio, there are art chats Thursday evenings and twice on Saturdays. All are included with admission. And we have a link with the details at kdk.com.